that's correct, Stephen. David Ansbury was sentenced to more years in prison than Brian Watson because he was seen as being more involved in the conspiracy. I just want to make sure that they go to jail. Shaniqua Smith says former Detroit Police Lieutenant David Hansberry and former police officer Brian Watson are behind what she claims is the wrongful conviction of her fiance, Casey Smith. So today she came to federal court to see Hansberry and Watson sentenced to prison. Prayers answered. The two former members of the Detroit Police Department's Narcotics Unit were convicted of conspiracy to commit extortion after federal prosecutors say the two men arranged drug deals so they could rob and extort people. They also allege Hansberry and Watson carried out traffic stops and fake arrests to steal money, drugs and other property. Today, 47-year-old Brian Watson was sentenced to nine years in prison. Former Lieutenant David Hansberry was sentenced to over 12 and a half years behind bars. The jury only convicted them on one of the conspiracy counts. I was very impressed that they were able to acquit uh, Mr. Hansberry of nine of the ten charges that he was uh, charged with by the government and uh, I'm sure that they struggled with this last one and we're hoping that to be vindicated on appeal. Federal investigators say in one case the narcotics unit seized over three million dollars in cash, but eight hundred thousand dollars was never placed in the evidence room. Hansberry and Watson now looking at years in federal lockup. We also appreciate the fact that Judge Murphy has allowed my client to remain on bond and to voluntarily report for incarceration instead of arresting and remanding him here today as the government had requested. And both Hansbury and Watson will remain free until they get a date to report to prison, which I'm told could take about a month. Reporting live in downtown Detroit outside federal court, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, thank you for the live report. The